All right, first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and reverence to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. That's to give all glory, honor, and praise to the Most High God and name His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right, may the Heavenly Father, love and mercy, truly endure forever for Israel and Israel only, as it said in the Holy Scriptures. Got your brother Yeramia, right? Um, come do another feed the flock. All praise for the Lord for giving me strength. Um, this one, this one we got on our hands today. This is from um, an old article, but like I had, I just kind of found it um, uh, not really humorous, but um, not out of the character for uh, for Esau. Um, it's about a dude robbing banks, but using. Uh, a black face to do it like um well it's going to show it within the video but yeah using a black face to do it i mean like the um it's just it just was funny uh seeing i i believe that uh this had took place uh like 2016 all right so i'm gonna run the video then bring out like a bible scripture um at the end of it we have a story of a bank robber in Cecil County uh, goes to extraordinary lengths to disguise his identity. As WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager reports tonight, police believe that a white man used blackface to try to throw off police. On its face, the heist at the PNC Bank on Pulaski Highway in Perryville Tuesday afternoon appeared to be your standard fare as far as bank robberies go. He came in, handed her a note, handed the teller a note, um... She gave him the money she had in the drawer. And at the time, Perryville Police Chief Alan W. Miller had no reason to doubt the teller's description of the robber. We interviewed the teller, and the teller uh, gave us a description of a black male, 5'7", 5'8", 180 pounds. But when police checked the bank's surveillance footage of the robbery, they realized while the suspect wasn't wearing a mask, it didn't mean he wasn't trying to conceal his face. They found out by looking at the glove area, between the glove area and the jacket, this was actually a white male we are looking for. So initially, the call out was for a black male. Um, it turned out to be a white male in a black face. Now it appears the same man, behind what appeared to be a textbook crime, getting in and out of the bank in about 15 seconds with a getaway driver waiting outside in a gray Ford Focus, may have outfoxed himself. The picture of the black-faced robber is spreading like wildfire on social media and to news outlets around the globe. We're getting calls from all over. I mean, you know, to to cover his face, you know, the black face, and to not cover his hands, not a very smart character, you know. Um, but uh, it's not a matter of uh, if we're going to catch him, it's a matter of when. I mean, he's, he's by no means the smartest bank robber out there. In Perryville, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News. We show you surveillance photos like these all the time. And maybe you recognize the person in the video, but your eyes can deceive you even about your own child. Yeah, that's really true. And tonight, we actually show you a stunning local case that will make you scratch your head a little bit and wonder if what you just saw was indeed real. And it also illuminates what prosecutors say is a real problem. Eyewitness accounts, they say they're so unreliable, they may just be the worst kind of evidence. In 2010, he held up multiple tri-state banks, and the surveillance video hit probably every newscast in Cincinnati. It's something you would see in a Hollywood movie. I don't think any of us have seen anybody do anything like this. He talks about killing cops. This is the bank robber. We believe to be an African-American male. <sighs> Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter says people were convinced they knew this guy. We had it on video. They pointed at the same guy, the same house. They were sure he was this man. We put out a Crime Stoppers tip. And we got about five or six, seven phone calls. I know that guy. He lives on this street. He lives in this particular house. And when the detectives went to that house, they knocked on the door. His mom answered it. She said, I know why you're here. I just saw on television my son robbing a bank. 
This is that woman's son. Take a look. He looks incredibly like the guy in the surveillance video. Police took the son, whose identity we were not given, into custody. Then they got a call from another woman who said they had the wrong guy, that it was her boyfriend who robbed the bank, and this is her boyfriend, Conrad Zerdiak actual perpetrator was white as could be. He had bought a theatrical mask from Beverly Hills, which cost a few thousand dollars. And it's very lifelike. And he had it on. And it looks like the guy they called Crime Stoppers about. I mean, his mom said. His mother said it. He did it. He did it. It looked just like her son. Sunglasses covered Zerdiac's blue eyes gloves covered his hands that just tells you don't believe what you see all the time because you could be dead wrong and, and there you go like nothing's too uh beyond esau right i mean change his whole uh, appearance i mean you know because and actually, you know, like, and just like how they were saying, um, he got away with it for a nice amount of time because they was literally looking for a black person. I mean, they, they just can't perceive white people can do, you know, that much wrong. <laughs> so I, I could see, I could see him getting away uh, with it. And if he was uh, smarter, you know, wore uh, gloves that you uh, covered his skin on his wrist. I mean, they probably would have got away with it, and they would have blamed their brother, who um, his mom said that the mask looked like, which it, it did look like him a little bit. I mean, they 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 would have fit. He would have fit the description, and he would have just been another black man saying, "Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it," and you know, they got blamed for it. Uh, the boy just would have probably just brought a whole another mask <laughs> to resemble. Another another different black man. You know I mean this is similar to um the little white girl that came um I think somebody had on the gram where uh she was saying um she had ate a whole pack of cookies and her mom was like, uh, who ate the cookies? She was like, uh, a black a black man came in and ate the cookies. I mean, this this pack of pink cookies, something like that. I mean, let me just get this uh this one scripture real quick. Kind of this a book of Revelation chapter twelve and verse nine in uh, NLT. This great dragon that um this great dragon, um, the ancient serpent called the devil and Satan, the one deceiving the whole world. Right, who, like anybody, could be a deceiver. Our people, I mean, Black, Spanish, Native Americans, Asian people, uh, East Indians, Hamitic people, any any race can be a deceiver. But who is the biggest deceiver that this world have ever seen? Who who painted themselves to be the new Messiah? Right for the uh for this um, um Western uh, hemisphere. Right on this uh, on the western side of the hemisphere, right? Because the Russian icons already showed him having dark skin, so a lot of people already knew on the east side of the world that he was a man of color. See that? Yeah, I mean, but for this so you know so-called new world on this side, they portray themselves to be the the new Messiah, right? So who would be the greatest deceiver? Esau, man. The devil. Deceive. Right, deceive, deceiving of a person cause someone to believe something that is not true. Typically in order to gain something some slacky, to gain some personal advantage. Right? And that's what Esau does. He lies, cheats, and steals, right, to gain uh, um, an advantage, and let me just uh, just bring this one out too. Right, um, two and eleven. Okay, all oh, praises. Um, this book of Second Corinthians, chapter two and verse eleven in the NLT, so that Satan will not outsmart us, 
for we are familiar with his evil schemes, right? I mean, he saw the devil the Bible speaks of, right? All that underhanded, sneaky stuff that he be trying to do, we be hip to the game, right? So to say, I mean, so, you know, I just found this kind of interesting when I um came across it. I mean, it's Edomite getting away with, uh, you know, dressing like a black man and robbing banks. And it, like I said, he would have had got away with it more, you know, if the the brother just took the fall. If, you know, he would have covered up his wrist and not been a dummy. Um, he, um, the brother would have had took the fall. They wouldn't have wanted to hear no, oh, he didn't do it. No, they, they wouldn't have wanted to hear none of that. So, I mean... He would have took the fall and he would have probably brought a whole another black man to represent a whole another black, different black man. So, I mean, there you go. Esau's the devil again and again. All praise to the Most High God. Hopefully, brothers and sisters was edified. Till next time, I say Shalom.